Hey gamers, welcome back to Minecraft. Um, and the last episode that I ever have to record with this mic stand, because I finally have a new mic stand. Which I'm overjoyed about. So, I found a flower biome. And I was like, ooh, cool. And then while I was here, I discovered these little fellas. And I was like, well, I can't take their flowers away from them. So I put a lot of flowers around them specifically, and then put a beehive of uh, my own down. That way I'll ensure that uh, I can possibly get new bees here. I don't actually know how to get bees. I assume that they have to breed. Um, so over there in the distance, you can see my villager breeder. Well, you can see the end result of it. Unfortunately, I will have to not use the very top of that. But that's okay. Um, this is another good place. I'm going to put down another bee farm here. A little one. I'm also going to use all the poppies I get from my eventual iron golem farm to open a bee farm in the nether. Uh, or possibly the end. No, I don't want to uh, Enderman to steal my bees from me. So with all the boneheaded things, I was building that nerd pole on my house, just, you know, up, and I slipped off. I haven't beat the game yet, so I don't have access to elytras. What are you doing out here, sir? What are you doing? Oh, are you linked to this? Go, 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 go. <laughs> well, that's that's pretty easy then. All right. So, what I'm working on now. This is where my bees will live. I've got this little staircase to bring grass up here. I had uh, several more staircases, but now I don't need them. Oh, right, nerd point. So while I was building up, I slipped off and fell. And until recently, my the top of my house was uh, a cactus farm. And my sword and my axe, both enchanted all the heck, fell into fell into the cacti. So I've recently discovered that hoppers have a direction that they point. And I've got a small hopper farm down here, or a hopper, hopper trail down here, to hopefully catch stuff that they throw down here. Uh, I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if hoppers can catch things like through blocks, but that's a theory at least. What else am I working on? Well, the villager farm has officially started, I guess, so that's cool. Um, I guess that means that I can put some bees down, hives at least. Okay. Oops, sorry, sir. Careful there. I don't really rhyme or reason how I put these down. I don't really need there to be. I guess it'll block them if I do that, so. Oh, whoops. Put a hoe here, right? So let's put these up a block. And then I've also got over here going on. Uh, I'm just going to put down a bunch of... What do I have the least of? I actually need lilies of the valleys for white dye. But that's okay. Let's just put down some dandies. And then cornflowers. That's almost my dead one. Uh, 
And then aliens. I intend to cover this whole thing in, in uh, wonderful flowers for my bee uh, my bee buddies. Now I assume there aren't just bees in there because I don't know if that would actually make sense. Oops. Oh, oh, that's fine. Jeez. Okay. So I'm going to put a little fence gate there so I can get to it. Um, only bees will go up there. Okay, that's not terrible, I guess. Uh, let's go get that sheep I saw. As I understand it, villagers require a bed to designate an area as their home, which is why this thing is filled with beds. Um, beds require wool and wood to make. Wood is easy to get. I've never felt the need to set up a tree farm as such because it's just everywhere. Um, I also figured out that, like, because of some other things going on in this village, there was no new villagers. It was just stagnant. So I put down a bunch more beds and composters just everywhere. Composters are the cheapest villager thing to make, and it means that I have a bunch of farmers. So now, yeah, I have a bunch more of uh, these guys running around, which is cool. Ooh, we got B activity. Thank you, Mrs. B. So but I could have run in there. Snatched it before he ate. When a sheep eat things, then they re regrow their pelt, so. Speaking of sheeps, actually. I've uh, got a little pen here. I need to... Uh, I just bred a lot of them, so I need to fluff that back up to full size, but... Thank you. While I'm here, let's put down a little uh, beehive over there. Beehive. Nope. Bee beehive behind. Yep, da dum. Yep, da da. Oop. That looks good. All right, cool. So yeah, that will allow me to hopefully get B stuff a little closer. Um, I need a, I, I've broken a beehive, so I know that I need a self-touch pick, uh, self pickaxe to get another get another beehive on my hands. Grab chest, bed chest, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. boop. Actually, let's put these fellows down. Get my bee friends a little more bee for their buck. I don't know what I have right now. I went to the nether and got a magma block to make the uh, giant elevator work. Uh, I didn't understand how far the actual limit on those was, so as it happens, I need to uh, make the thing shorter. I need to make it shorter because I don't understand how it is and I don't want to put redstone in there because it might break while I'm out of the chunk. I also don't really know redstone. See, look at that. 
We got him, and it immediately just got it back. So yeah, because my sword has dropped onto a uh, cactus, along with my axe and some other things, and my buckets, what boneheaded things to do. That one really takes the cake. I don't want that. Let me put this in here, actually, just to be freed from desires. Boop, boop. Kind of a pain in the butt how beds aren't stacked. I could make a bunch of blue beds, but they aren't good enough for that. These sheep have been dyed with lapis lazuli. I know that there are cheaper alternatives, and I don't care. I said lapis lazuli, and so they shall be dyed with such. I think that's one too many. Hold on. Let's climb up here. I'm at ninety nine. Okay. Jeez, you're just bringing the wool right to me. Look at that. Okay, so it's gonna put away my ladder, so I'll leave that there then. My chicken farm is doing pretty well as well. Now you can see how many eggs I've gotten. So let's just see. So if I make it too fast, it will all be turned on at once, and I won't be able to. Yep, like that. Well, let's try it again. There we go. The reason that I want it to delay is so that I don't hit the chicken with an egg and just combo it to death. So I've actually made another diamond pickaxe as well as this one. Um, I want to wait before I make another enchant, and I want to make wait before I make another sword because I want to get level thirty. Oh, I can show you what else I'm working on, actually. So in the nav, <clears throat> anyway, in the nether, I've been working on this. I've got lots of gravel, and I know where lots of gravel is, so I don't feel too... Oh, oh no, those those picks are dead. Um, oh my god, there's a horse in here. So this would be my bee farm. Uh, I need to come through with my fortune pickaxe and pick up all that. Yeah, I guess I have a little peony here. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot use nether water anymore, which 
was a feature that I loved. So because I built my portal so high up like a fool, I have to go very far down to get to the outside, as it were. And it's not a small distance either. Oh, oh there we go. So here's what the nether proper looks like in case you've never seen it before. It sucks. But what I'm doing is down here. I've built a little staircase. And as you may be able to see, I'm attempting to drain the lava from the nether. So you see here, this lava block's been deleted. It doesn't exist anymore. The further you go out, the deeper the lava actually gets. Which is why it's important to do this with lots and lots of stuff. It sounds like this. I think about how Patton Oswalt was in the uh, Minecraft adventure. Minecraft story mode? Yeah. What was he doing in that? I mean, I know that he's one of the guys who's been like, yeah, I've done jobs for a paycheck. Just don't at me. But like, man, come on. You were Ratatouille in Ratatouille. Airplane going on outside. So my next order of business is to get bees into my trap, I guess, so they will make honey for me, um, because I will need honey for when I go fight the withers, because apparently it works like milk. So I just want to illustrate how mind-numbing this is. I don't have a shovel right now because I broke it by mistake. So you know. And the thing is, because it's always expanding outward, you always need more and more gravel. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Man, ever have a heart attack? Not as fun as the movies say. Oh, so this is the floor. So we need to take everything at least this far down. But only for that one. Because if we go out... We can see... That it gets deeper and deeper. Yep, so that's four. Still four. Five. That's it. it is... It's a uh, lousy work. One of the saving graces is that you can do this. And just empty a bunch of the same lava into the, into the same source block.
Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty mind numbing. I've only made it a little bit into the Nether for clear reasons. When you're done, you can just destroy the nether block like that. Yeah, it's a bitter work is what I was looking for. Like that Avatar Lost Star Vendor episode. Oh, and down here are magma blocks. So standing on these hurts you. Crouching on them doesn't. They're one of the ways to uh, automate mob farms, since mobs cannot crouch. We'll just dump these in the lake, actually. So yeah, my plan is to reach the other side and to be able to walk on the surface of the lava lake. Without enchantments or potions or anything. So in the nether, I need to find a couple of things. I'll need to find a nether fortress, and that will allow me access to a blaze spawner, which will allow me to make a blaze grinder. Fun. Um, I'll need to find magma slimes, or magma cubes, I should say. I've already located quartz, lots of it. Um, and soul sand and magma blocks and glowstone, obviously. Um, is there going to be, actually, in Minecraft Xbox, there was a button that was like, hey, reset your nether, reset your end, and uh, you could use it for when you wanted to, like, put new updates in, like, if you had made a nether before they had put in uh, fortresses, you could reset it. Are they gonna be? Are they gonna do that for when Piglin show up? Because I might wait to, you know, do that. I might wait to empty the the water in the Nether at least. The lava. Yeah, lava is basically hell water, unless that's blood. We go all the way up, right? Now it's a little more obvious. So yeah, my bee friends will go in here. The reason that you want to put bees in the nether is because bees actually spend the night sleeping. So yeah, that's why I said that it was a death sentence. A bunch of animals walk in through the portals over there and fall in here and die. Anyway. Bees only work during the day. I knew that was gonna happen. I still did it. But in the Nether, there is no day or night, just hell. So it's a little like my house. <laughs> I have insomnia. Ah, oh, jeez. There goes my. Yeah, I'm out totally. Radical. Great. Good at the nether. Good at the nether. Still haven't even started on the big fortress I'm gonna build. I mean, geez, I'm still living in a dirt hut. And, like, it's the greatest dirt hut in the world. Visible from space and great distances, but it is just a hut of dirt. So, I believe how this works is... Oh, we're getting iron golems now. Cool. So, yeah, killing these guys is how you can grind iron. But that's a little prohibitively expensive. So, I think how it works is if there's anyone that doesn't have a job, I put that down. 
they will start to get a job. I put this down, and there will be room for another village in here. Now, eventually, these houses are just going to run out of room, livable room. So I'm going to need to build extra houses. But I've actually already started to extend the path out. Perfect. Perfecto. And now I just need to track down a cartographer. So I'm otherwise. Hello there, sir. Thank you. Yeah, come on, did you let this egg? Oop, chunk here. Let's take a peek. Those are something that I dug. Those aren't. It appears to be a mine shaft. I found a little more diamond, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I found a few more since the last time. Uh, as well as another mine shaft, which allowed me far more. Dang old. Oh, come on, friend. Well, no wonder I couldn't see my giant FE. It's not short for fire emblem. It'll be for something else. The fact that I've named my land, my world uh, low tech land of towers and castles is in fact a homestyle. Oh, we finally out. Hey, okay. All right. Three eggs. Doing this ensures that it'll never get filled with some guff that I don't want in there. At some point I'm going to have to take all that down and just go absolutely nuts there in the village with uh, selling paper. But for now, you will... Emeralds. Right, it's not food for me, but it is food, so I'll put it in there. Mm -hmm. Takes all kinds. Uh, let's get this minecart. Let's get let's get all of, all of them. In fact, how did you? Oh man, I hate it when sheep fall in. I just dilute my gene pool of blue sheep. That's a kind of an odd thing to say, especially considering that I'm in the process of beginning slavery. I mean, it's not slavery. They're not sapient. I'm digging myself deeper, aren't I? Get in there. Get in your cage. Can't they persuade them to enter? Oh. I think it's working. I think it's working. Oh no, stop. Oh, it's you. For your crimes, you must pay. Oh, man, people are out here. Okay, what is it? Is it the blocks? Oh, it's a kitten. Are we already spawning cats? Get off the track. Oh, 
Let the legend come back to life. No. Oops. Pretty cool. He was in my way. Of course, I left all my rails at home, so I have to do this old style. Oh. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, they don't like each other. They do like each other. Okay. What? I've never seen this up close. Do we have any bees in here? Well, I'm glad that we've gotten. What you're looking at. So, how the heck are people already like coming all the way over here? What's up with that? I guess they're just getting adventurous and exploring. I need to make that one thinner. Maybe higher up too. Over here. Let's take a look at this. I haven't caught anything in these yet. Could be because they don't work, but that's alright. So, anyway, the villagers fall through these little holes. Only baby villagers will fit because the holes are one thing wide. And then they come down here. And I'm going to sprint just for the sake of speed. And then they get stuck in this thing. And I didn't get the speed boost off of it. Well, so yeah, I've realized that like this is probably too narrow and they'll start drowning because even I'm drowning here. All right. So I built this thing one too small. Which means there's a little thing that comes off the side here, but all that ends anyway, because we need to make it shorter. Perhaps I'll have a elevator that goes that high later, but not now. Let's take it down there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. If I get an ice block here, then it should make this work a little better. Quick breath. Oh, 
Oh, there's... Is there water in this? That would be water, isn't it? Close in. You have to break with your hand. Oh, shoot. Didn't do it. Do it down. So you worked when I was off camera, which is just great. Super great, in fact. Alright, so here. Dig. Actually, I'll leave that off. Let's keep it in my inventory, in fact. All right. Actually, I'm going to build this off screen. Uh, this episode has gone on long enough. See you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Madecraft. Uh, yeah, have a nice day.